I believe it's the fault of politics and politicians. Right. They are the ones who elevate these people to mm. positions, ridiculously extreme positions. Right. They are the ones who do that mm. because they have this mentality mm. that uh, um, they are the ones with this colonial mentality, actually. Right, right. The politicians right. and the ones in politics who interfere with religion. And they've done this all the time. Right. It's not something that is, that is just now. Mm. But now mm. the phenomenon is even bigger. I, see. I mean, look at the time of the former prime minister mm. when he started talking about Islam Hadari. Yes. I'm the one who said that this is not... Uh, a new religion, okay. you cannot actually call it this. Mm. That what we should be calling it is to, to, uh, to understand the problems of the Muslims today within the framework of Islam, if yes. that's what you mean by Islam Habari. Right. Right. Of course, that's not what they meant. Mm. It was a political platform. Right. And today we have another one. Yes. Today we have this wasatiya. Yes. Everything is moderation, qasada haran in Malay. Yes. Yes. But it's ridiculous, as if it comes from the Quran. Yes. And these are the people who are propagating, I mean, the ones from this, this, uh, this uh, so-called elevated scholars, mm. the ones who are elevated by the politicians. Mm. That's why I'm saying the politics and politicians have, have now manipulated religion right. for the masses. Right. Right. They are the ones who determine who the ulama are. Mm. They are the ones who will raise these people up to, to these uh, positions of ridiculous honor. Mm. They are the ones who give them platforms. Mm. And therefore, these people speak with impunity. Right. Again, it's the, the fault of the Ulul Amr. Mm. I mean, look, if you start talking about wasatiya now, yes. moderation, and then say, oh, as if it's from the tradition of, the, of Islam, it's as if it comes from the Quran, because they, they love to use this, uh, this verse, mm. ummatan wasatan, yes. isn't it? Yes. And then you say, see, there it is. Mm. They don't realize that that verse the term wasat there, if you go and look at uh, Tabari or Tirmidhi, I think, okay. and the, the companions of the Prophet asked the Prophet, what does this mean, wasat? Yes. And he answered, adal. Mm. Where do you see the word moderation there? Mm. Or kasadarhana'an. Mm. Mm. When you say sadarhana in Malay, you are talking about a quantity. Right. Yeah. Isn't it? Yes. And instead, this wasat means justice. Therefore, when ummatan wasatan, it refers to a just people. Okay. People who are performing justice. In other words, these people have to know what is right, what is wrong, mm. what the place of things are in the system. Mm. They have to know this. Okay. Therefore, the people have to be educated. Mm. But if the people are not educated, how can you have an ummatan wasat? Mm. And this is what's happening today. On the one hand, you talk about wasatiya, mm. but without justice. Mm. And then there's trouble, there's angst, mm. there's difficulty. Mm. It's because there's no justice. Right. You don't have justice, you'll never have peace. Mm. This is the problem. Mm. 